According to long-term observations, the universe is believed to have originated from an extremely hot and dense point known as the Big Bang. The rate of cosmic expansion, the temperature and patterns of light emitted during the first atom formation, various elements, galaxies, and other data largely support the Big Bang theory. These pieces of evidence support the conclusion that the universe has expanded and evolved in the manner hypothesized by the Big Bang theory. However, scientists ultimately failed to comprehend the essence of the universe. We know very little about dark matter and dark energy, which together make up over 95% of the total energy in the universe. Furthermore, we still don't understand how protons, electrons, and neutrons in the universe manage to survive in the aftermath of the Big Bang. According to the physical laws we currently understand, these particles should have been annihilated by antimatter long ago. We still know very little about this crucial period in the history of the universe. Most of the problems related to the universe are gradually being solved over time. However, these problems are still unresolved. Despite designing and conducting various experiments to identify individual particles that make up matter, scientists have ultimately been unable to find them. Even powerful particle accelerators like the Large Hadron Collider have repeatedly failed to unravel these mysteries of the universe. Despite meticulous measurements of the history and structure of the universe's expansion, we have yet to uncover much about the nature of dark energy, the force believed to be accelerating the universe's expansion. Scientists conclude that most of the universe is composed of entirely different substances beyond our understanding, which don't emit, reflect, or absorb light like atoms. Dark matter stands out as the most crucial and significant challenge that modern scientists face in understanding the universe. Although the properties of dark matter are not well understood, scientists have often speculated about particles that could make up this mysterious substance. WIMP, weakly interacting massive particles, have been key candidates to understand the nature of dark matter. For decades, scientists have been striving to discover WIMPs by using highly sensitive detectors capable of detecting collisions of particles that make up dark matter. Despite numerous experiments over the years, WIMP have eluded discovery, contrary to scientists' expectations. A decade ago, many scientists were confident that these experiments would unveil the identity of dark matter. However, scientists concluded that dark matter is not as straightforward as initially thought and is much more challenging to comprehend. Failing to find any evidence for WIMP, scientists eventually shifted to other candidates for dark matter. Following WIMP, a strong candidate was the hypothetical and ultralight particle known as the axion. Scientists are using strong magnetic fields to search for this particle, but there have been no significant results so far. The challenge in finding dark matter may be due to the possibility that the early universe was different from scientists' long-held imagination. According to scientists' calculations, the early universe produced a massive amount of gluons and other subatomic particles just one millionth of a second after the Big Bang. For dark matter to be created under these conditions, significant interactions between particles in the early universe would have been necessary. However, scientists assume that the universe expanded without unexpected events or significant changes during its early stages. Put simply, there is a possibility that this assumption may have been incorrect. While scientists have a reasonable understanding of how the universe expanded and evolved for most of its history, they have little knowledge about the first second after the Big Bang. Directly observing the events during the initial moments of the Big Bang is impossible. Everything we know is just a matter of speculation. In fact, if we could travel back in time and directly observe the universe, almost everything we think we know might turn out to be completely wrong. 
matter and energy might have existed in entirely different forms, and there could have been forces that we are still unaware of. There might have been important events and changes that science hasn't uncovered yet. Many substances may have interacted differently from our understanding, and space and time could have progressed in ways entirely different from what we know. That's why many scientists are striving to find particles that make up dark matter. Discovering this would unveil not only the characteristics of dark matter but also the secrets of the era when they were created, the very first moments of the Big Bang. In 1929, Edwin Hubble discovered that galaxies are continuously moving away from us. This was acknowledged as the first clear evidence that the universe is expanding. Since then, the rate of expansion has remained a crucial metric in the study of the universe for scientists. In fact, measuring the Hubble constant accurately has been challenging for a long time. Initially, Hubble made an error in his calculations, overestimating the Hubble constant by a factor of 7. In textbooks from the 1990s, it was often explained as speeds ranging from 50 km per second to 100 km per second per million parsecs. One method of calculating the Hubble constant is to directly measure how quickly objects are moving away from us, much like what Hubble did in 1929. Hubble used Cepheid variable stars, whose brightness remains relatively constant, for such measurements. Modern scientists still employ this method. Modern scientists use various objects, including type IA supernovae. Recent analyses reveal that the universe is expanding at a rate of approximately 72 to 76 kilometers per second per MPC. Furthermore, scientists study the light emitted when the first atoms formed approximately 380,000 years after the Big Bang to calculate the Hubble constant. The ancient light known as the Cosmic Microwave Background CMB, provides a clear view of how matter was distributed in the universe at that time. Analyzing this light in detail allows us to gather a wealth of information about the early universe, including the quantity of matter, various forms of energy present, and the rate at which space expanded. The Hubble constant value obtained by scientists from analyzing this light was approximately 67 kilometers per second per MPC. This was surprisingly much smaller than the value calculated directly through observations by scientists. Why exactly does this discrepancy occur? If these calculations were indeed conducted correctly, the two methods of determining the Hubble constant cannot coexist within the current standard model of the universe. To address this discrepancy, scientists may need to reconsider their ideas about how the universe expanded and evolved or rethink the forms of matter and energy created in the first few hundred thousand years after the Big Bang. According to Einstein's general theory of relativity, the rate at which space expands depends on the density of matter and energy. When calculating the Hubble constant from the cosmic microwave background, scientists also need to make assumptions about dark matter, neutrinos, and other forms of matter. However, besides these complexities, there is a straightforward way to explain the Hubble constant discrepancy. The hypothesis suggests that the universe had much more energy than expected during the first 100,000 years or so after the Big Bang. This energy might have taken the form of particles that interact very weakly alongside a unique form of light, or it could have taken on the form of a type of dark energy associated with the vacuum of space. Or perhaps there was something entirely different beyond our imagination. Scientists are still contemplating how to unravel this intriguing mystery. The various puzzles that scientists face today, as mentioned earlier, may soon be brilliantly resolved. However, recent trends suggest that the more we study the universe, the more challenging it becomes to comprehend. Despite decades of effort, we still don't fully understand dark matter, and the issue of dark energy has become increasingly challenging to tackle.
We still don't know how various particles survived in the early moments of the Big Bang, how the universe expanded, and almost nothing about how the universe will ultimately end. Viewing it from this perspective, the thought that these mysteries are interconnected with even more colossal and fundamental questions, is evoked. In other words, the universe's earliest moments might have been very different from what we have imagined. Perhaps discussing these issues signifies the beginning of a revolution in our understanding of the universe. Much like today's scientists grappling with these issues, physicists in 1904 also found themselves unable to solve certain problems. During that time, scientists believed that this world was filled with a luminiferous ether. They believed that light moved through the luminiferous ether. In that case, the luminiferous ether should be capable of causing changes in light. However, light always moved through space at a constant speed. Scientists of that time found this problem utterly perplexing. Furthermore, scientists were quite puzzled by the observation that Mercury's orbit deviated from what Newton had predicted. Consequently, some scientists even argued that an unknown planet, Vulcan, was influencing the orbit of Mercury. At that time, physicists also didn't know what was supplying the sun's power. The known chemical or mechanical processes at that time couldn't generate such immense energy over extended periods. Finally, scientists observed that various chemical elements emitted and absorbed light in specific patterns, yet none of the physicists could explain this phenomenon. In other words, the events occurring within the atom remained a complete mystery. Although the answers were unknown at the time, there were clear indications of a revolution in physics. And in 1905, a scientific revolution began with the young Albert Einstein and his new theory of relativity. We now know that luminiferous ether does not exist, and there is no planet called Vulcan. The theory of relativity brilliantly resolved these mysteries without the need for new substances or planets. Furthermore, scientists were able to combine the new quantum physics theory with the theory of relativity to understand the sun's lifespan and the internal workings of atoms. These new theories opened doors to new explorations, including cosmology, that were previously unimaginable. Scientific revolutions like these can profoundly change the way we perceive and understand the world. However, radical changes never come easily. Whether the cosmic mysteries confronting scientists today are harbingers of an impending scientific revolution or the culmination of incredibly successful scientific efforts remains to be seen. There is no doubt that there has been tremendous progress in understanding the history and origins of the universe. When examining the history of the universe, especially its early stages, a complex picture comes to mind. Nonetheless, this moment still holds the key to astonishing secrets and new scientific revolutions in the world. However, the universe doesn't easily reveal its secrets to us. Uncovering these secrets of the universe is entirely up to us. When will we truly unravel the mysteries of the universe?